What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. Man, show friend of the show, my man Rags, David Ragland here, Evans V Purple Aces. I see him in his office right there. Hey, having a good time chilling day. Rags, my man. What's up, baby? Everything's up in Evansville, my brother. Everything's great. Beautiful weather. Uh got a year under us, so we're looking forward to year year number two. I hear that, man. And for you, man, uh, what was what did you what did you really like learning them the most from your team last year? I know it was a tough year for you, but you had yep. and your, your guys played hard, man. So what did you learn learn about your staff and your players, man? Even though it was a tough year, they still stuck stuck with, with, with you guys. Right, right. There, there's no quit, which I which I love. Uh gotta respect that from the staff, from the players, from the fans, from administration. It's all about we found out what was really under the hood. Um in order for us to you got you got in order to fix a problem, you gotta know what the problem is. Um, so we really got a chance to figure out what was under the hood, what the real issues were, so we can fix it. And now we have a solid foundation. We're just gonna stack days and build upon it. And Raz, what's good for you, man? You have the back end of the administration and, and the campus about well, yeah. you take all these jobs, man. Some of them want you to win right away. We know wins right. losses matter. But right. you have to really build it the right way because trying to do a, a quick fix or a fix a flat, like it's gonna break on you eventually, brother. So Absolutely. I'm thankful that your administration uh, giving you a chance to build this thing out the right way. I'm gonna be patient right. as you build this foundation the right way, fix the problem that you found last year in that kind of seek and destroy it more. Like okay, we now now we know. Yeah, no, nah, that that's spot on. I mean, I I'll tell you what. Uh, what what the administration, how understanding they are of the situation that we're coming out of, um, and then then a fan base that that gets it too, um, you know you get into situations and 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 it is it, it's it's instant gratification kind of a error, but understanding that if you want long term success, you do have to build it the right way, you have to build it with the right people and. The administration is the right people. Uh, they allow me to hire a staff that that are built the right way, that are built for long term success. In order to do that, you you just have to get the right people around you um, that that have the same mindset, that that understand that it's going to take some time, that it's going to take commitment, um, that we have to just just come together and and stay focused on. Uh, the day to day to day mission in order to build the long time success. So administration's there, fan base there, staff's in place, and, and we have the, the right players 
um, in, in place to really make this thing last uh, for a long time. And I saw you all work, man, at Belmont. Like, let's be real. You all was a basketball being down by like four points, man. So that's <laughs> Belmont. At Belmont, where you're not yeah. going to get any calls at ever. You know, Snow did a great job. G doing a good yeah. job for you, man. Yeah. And he just hired uh, or just gave my man a little promotion to Roosevelt there. So, yeah. man, it's like your, your guys are putting in the work for you. And have a staff that you can trust that are loyal. That's the other yeah. thing, too. That they're not yeah. out for themselves. They are. They are part of the vision and mission of, of what you have, and they're an extension of you, and they're not trying to do their own thing. It's about the standards you set, and they've been there for you. I, I saw it, I seen it first hand myself and know what they're about, man. Kudos to you, and then your guys have been there for you, man. Yeah. No, I, and, and that's that's important, man. It's, you know, it's, it's about having some loyalty, loyalty some um, connectivity, and, and continuity. Um, and we have to have it for our players to have it. You know, and then young people are smart, man. They they see it, they sniff it out, uh, they they know what you're about without you saying it. Uh and and as we build the culture, uh, you know, sometimes you have to know who you can win with by learning who you can lose with. And we did plenty of that last year. <laughs> uh more than you want to, trust me. More than we wanted to. Uh, but but it did. It it, it built some resistance, some resilience. Um, and some hunger, and and now I, I see it with the five weeks we had in the spring, to the, the eight weeks we have this summer, and we're we're going. We just finished week number three, but just an atmosphere, a, a culture, uh, unrequired amount of work it takes to be a really good player. The guys are in the in the gym nonstop. Like I'm in my office right now. It, it's it's an off day, but I look out here and, and there's at least four guys in the gym on their own, working on the game, uh, just putting in the work that it takes to be really good. The staff's in there nonstop, uh, you know, just working with guys, c- c- connecting with them, uh, just just being – like our job is really develop the student athlete and to make sure they have a great student athlete experience – and our best ability we can have for them is availability. So if we're available, if we're here, if we're like really engulfed in in their player development as a student, as a uh, an athlete, as a uh, as a man, then they're going to get more to us. And and that's that's what we're seeing right now, kind of come to fruition. And Raz, what I would say about your team, man, even though it was tough last year, your guys played hard throughout. Because yeah. they're having that record and they quit. And your yeah. guys played hard and was giving a maximum effort every game. The results yeah. didn't go your way, but it wasn't because of lack of effort. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's where I want to commend you on, too. And I appreciate realize that you were looking at Drake and no, but your team was together. They played hard every day. Boy, that team didn't tap out and quit. Yeah. And and that's a, that's a measure of your, your character. Like, what what what's your char- character like? What's your response like? Even in times that aren't going well for you, there there were games we start twenty four to one, and we fought our way back into it. We got beat fifty points. Like we we got beat bad at Belmont, and and still throughout that, we just found a way to win the next possession, win the next four minutes, or try to win the next possession, or try to win the next four minutes. And and that's, that's what it's all about. That's how you really measure your character. And that, that's how you uh, build some resilience is, is about your response. Hey, Rags, who were some of the key guys? I saw you brought, brought, brought some guys, man. Who were some of the key uh, guys you brought in that you want to highlight for the listeners here to kind of watch out for this year? That you just made some big things from on the court for you guys. Yeah, we, we have a, we have a good group. You know, first I want to highlight our, re, our returners, uh, you know, Gage Bob started games for us this year. Uh, started as a walk-on, uh, earned a scholarship, and then earned a, earned a starting spot. So, man, just his hard work, his ethic. You know, his work ethic. I just want to highlight that. Uh, you know, Sekou Calais, uh, he came in from Akron, uh, battled some injuries this year, but but another person just stay resilient. Uh, you know, we have a saying. Even if you're out, you're still in. And uh, even though he was out, you can always hear his voice, always picking people up, encouraging them, 
uh, and he's worked really hard this off season. So I want to want to just highlight him, and uh, then we we talk about you know, walk ons Cam Galhausen. Uh, you know, didn't play, but minimal minutes, but was always working. Picked up twenty pounds of, of pure muscle uh, this off season. Looks a lot better. Uh, a guy that's in the gym on his own right now. Uh, you know, then then Yasin Tumi, a uh, returning starter. Uh, you know, multi skilled uh, guy that can play. You know, four of the five kind of play the point from a, a, a bigger position, almost like a. You know, everybody saw the, the Joker this year and then win a championship, but has has some similarities of being able to, to run the point, uh, run the team from his position. Uh, but then uh, Kenny Strawbridge is another person returning uh, that was an all-conference third-team uh, player, uh, known for scoring, the score from the perimeter, around the basket, kind of uh, mid-post type of player. But those guys coming back are guys that we learned to lose with that didn't waver, that are that are just, uh, you know, our, our kind of guys that are going to help our culture and then help some of the guys that are coming in. You know, Chuck Bailey is, is highly touted, a uh, freshman coming in this year that I think would be good for us. Uh, Cameron Hafner is a, is a Division One transfer coming in from Eastern Illinois. Dad was a standout here, Hall of Famer. Uh, Cameron was a freshman uh, player of the year in the Ohio Valley, Valley Conference. Uh, that That's good for us. Uh, then uh, Ben Homework House uh, is, a, is a transfer coming in from uh, Huntington uh, College. Uh, that That's 6'9", can shoot it, very skilled. Then Antonio Thomas coming in from Kentucky Wesleyan. It's a leader, uh, just not afraid to hear his own voice. Point guard, help us lead the team. Great work ethic. Um, then Tanner Cuff coming in from Salt Lake Community College. There's another person just though all those guys have experience, have division one one experience besides Chuck Bailey. Uh, but going to elevate our size, our skill, our leadership, our our the voices in the gym that that kind of elevate our culture. And Raz, we're hearing those heights, man, because you know is how the game is they with the switch ability, being versatile, yes. be able to throw length at people and throw them off, man. That's something even in the NBA that I see when you throw length at people, it throws them off. You have some length. Yeah. It can it, and you know I know you know this very well. Defensively, you ain't over till you get the rebound. Defensively, yeah. that length, you get the rebound, yeah. get out and run and go. So that height helps the guys can't just jump over you and get a rebound and you still defend another 30 seconds. These guys get tired. So that will heighten the lift probably gonna really help you out a lot, my brother. Absolutely. You know, we, we want to hang our hat on defending and rebounding. And uh, you know, that that's what we went out to get. You know, our our staff locked in on size, skill, um, you know, versatility. Uh and and we want to dribble pass and shoot offensively, but we want the size to be able to switch, defend, rebound, you know, finish possession defensively. And then you just look at our, our roster. You know, we have multiple guys that are 6'9", multiple guys that are 6'10". Uh, we didn't have that before. And and our, our size across the board is going to be different. And our versatility across the board is going to be improved. Uh, so uh, look, looking forward to a fun offseason. Uh, you know, guys sharing the ball, but being able to drill pass, shoot, make good decisions, then also defend, switch, uh, shrink the floor, uh, get test shots, then block out, get the rebound, bound, be one and done, uh, you know, defensively. It, it'll be fun for our, our, our fans to see and the style of play that that uh, equates to the winning a good amount of games. You kind of mentioned it, Rags, Denver and Miami. That's some you probably want to show them on some tape, some clips about. Yeah. This is where we want to be right here because <laughs> what you said, those teams are, man. I'm like, those are the perfect teams for your, your, your men to watch and see because those guys play the way you all want to play, man. Denver, man, that, they, they switch one through five and, you know, yeah. and 
cause you trouble, contest like crazy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? What you say? we, what, we just watched that in the finals, man. What you talking about, man? We just watched that in the finals, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? You got to eliminate losing. And and by eliminate losing, you have to limit your 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 deficiencies. And if you if you don't have a ton of flaws offensively and, and you can make decisions and skilled guys can make decisions, if you can hit 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 an open shot. Uh, we we tell the guys like keep it simple. Shoot it when you're open, pass when you're not. But if you can make simple basketball plays and decisions, you help yourself offensively. Then if you can defend and, and people aren't abusing you by your size or by your scheme, and you're you're able to cover up any type of, of offensive attack, uh, then limit teams to one shot, man, you 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 got a shot. Uh, you know so. Yeah, definitely the, the NBA Finals help. You know, Denver is a team, you know, it's all about trends, right? Um, you know, Golden State kind of set a trend with their offensive efficiency and, and, and outburst for for several years. Uh, Denver is starting to show us that, you know, you, you can keep the, the versatility, uh, you know, be able to take advantage of people defensively with back cuts and dribble handoffs and dribble keeps uh, and zoom actions and, and different um, – you know, just attacks offensively and still shoot the three ball, but then being able to switch and, and switch multiple positions and switch guards, and bigs, and bigs, guards, and have like sizes. Um, it's just not being able to find a, a hole in your offensive defense. Uh, that's the best, best team to have. No doubt with Rags, man. I'll see you late point, brother. I will be there, man. So you you all you and G come on down and snow come on down. I was gonna send you out in the gym, man. Absolutely. I'm also gonna chat with you, my brother. As soon as I get on my little vacation, I'm coming that way to see you. That was good, my hey, Enjoy that vacation. You deserve it. You know, you're welcome anytime. Anytime we're in the air, we're hitting you up. And I'll I'll see you down in uh uh Lake Point. All right, brother. You be safe, my guy. See you soon, man. Absolutely. You too, brother. All right. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio listen to the boss man show with your host jr saturdays at 9 a.m right here on am 1010 the king